Don't feel 29. Big scale version. Put in mass reefing. Let's have another closer look. Both features an electric windlass with a rockna anchor. Selden furling Genoa. Vertical spinnaker pole stowage in mass furling for the mainsail. Again, all seldom. The sail has uh, vertically battens, so vertical battens on the mainsail. Our winches are by Lumer and the uh, Main sheet can be disconnected from the pedestal and a cockpit table can be put in its place. Gas locker to port. Tiller steering as you can see. Teak laid bathing leather at the back. And a large locker to starboard. Instruments include a Garmin chart plotter and depth and log and uh, wind instruments and a compass. I'm not forgetting the spray hood, very handy. We've also got uh, line tamers, important starboard size for tidying up your lines. The um, main sail on this boat is uh, as in mast furling, so the sails are from Ocean Sails in Poland and they are vertically battened, so uh, quite good performance. Um, we have sailed from Wicklow to Malahide in this boat with, with the tide and with the wind, so in six hours, so uh, it's a uh, reasonably good performance. Yeah. Here's more of the mechanism for the uh, in mass reefing. It means you can set sail completely from the cockpit, so it uh, can be very, very safe. New Mar winches, got some spin lock clutches. Okay, a quick tour of the cockpit. There's the attachment point for the autopilot and uh, the engine controls. The engine is a Volvo Penta D120. The boat's got a manual bilge pump. But the uh, gas locker has room for one bottle and also for a spare. It uh, drains to the back of the boat. Um, there's some rooms for drinks inside the cockpit pedestal. Here's the engine controls and a very very large locker with loads of room for all your bits and bobs and stowaways. Here's the uh, engine heating or the Webasto cabin heating and there's also a 45 litre holding tank. It's standard. Yeah, let's just take a quick look at our instruments. So. Here we've got a Ray Marine wind instrument, a Garmin uh, 3005 uh, chart plotter, which will also link into the autopilot, obviously. And we've also got uh, depth and log from Ray Marine. We've got um, a Ray 54 uh, VHF. This also has um, a link back to the chart plotter. So if you receive a Mayday or if you do get polling requests from somebody, or you give somebody a polling request, you can, uh, it'll automatically go up on top of the plotter. Very handy if you receive a mayday from somebody else and you don't know where they are, it'll put it straight on the plotter for you. Okay, storage lockers, and we've also got storage space beneath the seats. Um, in the bow with a reasonable sized uh, forward double berth. And then, oop, a lot of sunlight there. And we've got our starboard berth. And I'll show you later how that converts. Uh, probably better off showing the port berth, how that converts into a bunk. So there's lots of room there. This is the electrical panel by Bet Marine of New Zealand. There's also a little pull out drawer on the uh, chart table. And again, some more lockers. Sorry about the light here, but it's lovely and bright today. Now, very quickly. I'll just uh, we have controls there for the electric windlass, 
automatic bilge pump we've got a power socket this boat has uh, shore power with a galvanic isolator and we've got our heating controls for the Webaster heating Pioneer stereo with iPad and just to open just to show you the neatness of the electrical work here and not a lot of boats with electrical as tidy as that so here's a companion it's very bright day today there's our GP or our um, DSC VHF a little hatch over the cooker let out steam and there's our galley, very large, very, very cool fridge. Um, here's a chart table, oh sorry, the saloon table deployed. And uh, spin around, sorry about the bright spots. And there's our chart table, fire extinguisher, and our entry into the heads. Ultimately, there's your sleeping configuration. Now I'll just show you the heads. There's a shower standard in the Delta 29. It uh, pulls out of the faucet as a standard push toilet. Uh, electric toilet is an option. There's your heating vent for the Webaster heating. The Webaster heating vent in the main saloon, in the forward cabin, in the heads, and in the aft cabin. So, plenty of room there to hang up your oilies. And the, the uh, floor has a pump out for when you're having a shower. Let's go across to the aft cabin. So. A uh, very large aft cabin there. As you can see, the beds are made up. It's just the autopilot just stowed there. Um, and again, a nice locker. And the uh, room, the gas controls are down there. So, I'll just uh, next video and I will show you the the engine. Now, steps are removed to give access to the engine bay. There's an automatic fire bottle and an insulated and sound insulated uh, companionway steps. Now, just before I show you the engine, just show you down here. These are the Bet Marine battery switches, so that's the uh, engine battery. It's the house battery. And the yellow is an emergency parallel switch, so if you run your engine battery down, you can start the, the engine on the house battery and uh, vice versa. Now, the engine is a Volvo Penta D120. On this particular boat, it has a sail drive. On the lifting keel version, it would have a shaft drive. And there's your water strainer. There's your header tank, but a very nice install. The whole engine bay, as you can see, has um, soundproofing and uh, fireproofing throughout. Uh, one thing to note is that there is also an access hatch at the back, so there's plenty of room to service this engine. And uh, that concludes the tour of the Delphi 29.2. Uh, this one's called Cinnabar. Thank you, bye-bye.